This week, we are performing an oxidation reaction to form camphor from isoborneal. I'm Regan Anderson. I'm Kenneth Davis. And I'm Teeny Louie. Let's get started with the mechanism. First, we have to make hypochlorous acid from the sodium hypochlorite found in common household bleach. Here, we have the oxygen on the hypochlorite attacking the hydrogen on this glacial acetic acid. The <clears throat> electrons in this bond now retract back onto that oxygen. This forms an acetate ion surrounded by the spectator ion, sodium, and our hypochlorous acid. Now we have the oxygen and the hypochlorous acid attacking the, um, attacking the hydrogen and the hydronium. And then the electrons retracting back onto this oxygen. That forms protonated hypochlorous acid and water. Here we have isoborneal, the, the oxygen attacking this chlorine, and then the bond in between the chlorine and the oxygen, the electrons are going to go back onto this oxygen. That forms water. Now this water will be attacking, well the oxygen in the water rather, will be attacking the hydrogen and the electrons will fall back onto this oxygen. The newly, the, this, the newly formed intermediate will now have another water molecule come and take off this hydrogen. The electrons come back in, the, the chlorine leaves with this electrons and it forms this ketone. This is now our camphor molecule along with hydronium and chloride. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us in chemistry. Two, three, eight.